Hey, how's it going today? We got a special treat for you today. We're going to bundle up. Ah, yes, bundle up. Get our tackle together. Nice rod for panfish here. I think I'm going to grab a, a rod with a spinner bait. Maybe catch a bass. We'll see. And we're going to head out. See y'all in a little while. All right, we just caught one crappie. We're going to see if we can't catch more. Yeah, second crappie of the day. That one might even, that one might even be big enough to fillet. We're close. Maybe not quite, huh? A little bit small. Okay. Well, it's a fish. Oh, that's a crappy. Let's see if we can't do a little better than that. There's another one. Might have a little school here. Yeah. Small guy. That's a long cast there now. Well. Wow. Hook a fish over there, it's gonna be hard to get him in. And there he goes too. And there he is. They're way out there. Way out there. Come on, crappy. I could do a MLF one pound bass, skate him in. This one's a little bit bigger, I think. Nice. Nice. Okay, a little better. A little better. Oh, he come off. I'll be doggone. Oh well. See what we can do. I was tasting that one in the pan. Well, here's one that's a little better. One that we can at least put a knife to. And I think that's what we're going to do. I think that's what we're going to do. Doing a lot of missing. Not a straight, just a straight retrieve. There we go. There we go. They are hitting the 32nd ounce chid with the fairly large, that's a decent one, just to show you these little blue, little crappies and bluegills they're really choking this jig, man. It's getting to the point where you got to set the hook immediately just to keep them from swallowing the hook, which we don't want them to do. But they're fairly, they're fairly aggressive. All right, this is my tackle box today. Not much. Two little containers of small jigs. They're 132nd ounce, and I have a 16th ounce jig as well. I've been catching almost everything on the 132nd ounce chartreuse. A chartreuse hair jig or a chartreuse tube. And then I switched over. I'm going to try pink here, see if pink doesn't do it. A little pink bucktail might go with a 32nd ounce hair jig here. We'll just give it a variety. We've caught about 20 crappie. I'm happy. Most of them on the bobber. Most of them on the rocket bobber. 
just tilts a little bit and goes under. Whoa, fighting. This one's fighting. Best fish of the day, I think. Oh my. Big crappy. Actually, a pretty big crappy. Watch him come off. <laughs> That's a pretty big fish. That's actually a pretty nice fish. Best fish of the day. Best fish of the day. Check them out. That is not a bad fish, guys. That is not a bad crappy. I'm happy with it. Very nice. Best fish of the day. Probably almost a foot long. Very sweet. Sweet looking fish. All right, as you can see, we've been catching a few fish. Not a whole lot, and not great big fish, but we're catching a few nice crappies, enough for a meal tonight. I'm really tickled with that. And we're getting them right over in this corner here. A lot of sunshine coming down, heating that water up a little bit. It's been very, very chilly here the last two days. It hasn't been over 50 degrees, and the nighttime lows have been in the 30s. So it's been pretty cold, uh, but we're doing okay. We got a nice mess of fish, and I'm happy. Well, I'll tell you what, we only found one really nice crappie at the other pond. We have since switched places. We're going to another place here today, and we already caught two big crappies, two nice 12, almost 13 inch fish. And uh, it's a slow bite because it's still 50 degrees out. Went down below 30 degrees again last night. So uh, the crappie bite, which was just about ready to explode with shallow fish, has now been uh, pretty much uh, hampered by this cold weather. So we're going to fish up and down in this shallow area here, some of these areas, and then we're going to also go up into this corner here where there's a lot of wind blowing up in there. I've had good luck up there. We're going to try to get some bigger fish. Well, this is the kind of crappie we've been catching two days after the dinks. These are nice big fish. These are all 11 to 13 inch class fish. Really nice crappies. Really nice fish. So, glad we could find fun some finally. Finally find some. And uh, that's what we got. All in tube jigs. Good day fishing. Oh, that's a nice fish, whatever it is. Another big slab crappy. Wow, that's a nice looking fish, Jack. That is a nice looking fish. Nice fish. Nice. Really nice looking fish there. Little pink tube. I think it's a male, but I can't tell. It's pretty, I know that. Well, it's about the 12th, 10 or 12th one we've caught today. Really nice fish. We've got plenty. So this one's going back. <laughs> we'll see you. That's fun, man. A lot of fun. We'll do that again.
day of this stiff southerly breeze. It's, it's by no means a warm breeze. It's actually quite cold. Last night it was below 30. I'm surprised these fish are biting at all. But I'm happy. Oh, missed it. All they do is barely tilt that viber. Go out that way a little bit. They seem to be all up and down the bank. No real concentration of uh, a bunch of fish. One here, one there, two here, maybe another one down the bank. But they're all hitting just about the same. They barely tilt that bobber up. A bobber tilts up, you pretty much figure you got a crappy. These are some of the crappies we got today. I actually had a dozen fish. I kept six. I kept six real nice fish for the pan. So these are what we're going to take home today. We finally found the bigger crappie. We finally found the bigger crappie. And we had to get to another body of water to do it. So anyway, it was a great day. Great fish. And uh, we'll talk to you next time. God bless you all. Anyway, we had a great day. Uh, not a lot of action, but bigger fish. Just completely the opposite of the other pond. So I was happy to get them. Uh, a few nice fish here in Maryland right now. They have a sustenance only fishing uh, regulation due to the COVID-19. And uh, so I was tickled to death to get a couple nice crappie to uh, have for, for supper uh, next week. Maybe tomorrow night. Who knows? But anyway, thanks for watching and y'all be blessed. Okay. God bless y'all.